Hello everyone, it's Shawnee here and today is the second week of school. We officially started campus classes, seated classes this week and so far so good but it is just the third day. Students reported back on Monday the 23rd and I had a great time meeting my students. It was fun to see everyone. I was in a classroom that was a little bit too small and in my opinion put me in too much um, too close of proximity to my students so I simply requested a new room a new classroom I received that classroom the same day and so we met in our new location which was great smart classroom smart board everything is smart technology anyway but there was way more space and a lot more sunshine because you know students need to we all need sunshine and we need to see light coming in it helps us to process better and to not you know be so down because we are in a pandemic so i had a great time today teaching i teach human behavior in the social work environment and so we went over a lot of great concepts today in terms of covid i feel that protocols are in place all students in my class had on masks i was definitely six feet away from them students who needed to speak with me after class you know they were able to do so but everyone had a mask on i have masks i have face shield um, I did wear my face shield in class on today because it was a little bit too much when I was trying to do it on Monday. I had a face shield, I had a mask on, I was trying to double mask. But obviously um, we have sanitizer in all classrooms as well as face masks available to us as well as um, paper towels so that we can wipe and spray our station down you know, and leave it, you know, clean for the next professor and kind of sanitize the room down as we leave. And obviously the restrooms are right there so you can go wash your hands. And so we just kind of reviewed our syllabus today. I addressed any questions the students had. We really went over the code of ethics today, really gave them a kind of foundational understanding of what the social work profession is about. You know, as I mentioned, not just hope and feelings and all that great stuff, but really what we do as social workers. So the students are really engaged and I actually got invited to speak um, to a student organization. So that's another thing about being a faculty member. You know, once your students feel a level of comfort with you, if they feel you can contribute in a particular area, you will often get asked to speak to other students. And that's just something you put on your, um, your dossier, on your CV, that you are involved in student activities and in activities that are taking place on campus. So that's all a part of being um, a tenure track faculty member, or even if you're not on tenure track, students will ask you to speak to their clubs and organizations all the time, but make sure you keep all those things documented. So did I feel safe on campus? I'm just gonna say that although I may be wearing a face mask and a you know, face shield and all these different things and trying my best to adhere to protocols, and I know that the university is really trying to make sure that they have vaccine stations so that students can get the Moderna vaccine and students, faculty, and staff. I do know that some people think COVID is a hoax. That is not my position. So I'm just saying that I have to be safe. And if it means that I'm gonna have to switch classrooms again <laughs> to feel safe, I'm going to make sure I'm advocating for myself and for my safety. And I think that's just what everyone, in particular faculty, staff, and students have to do. I was watching the news early this morning and reading a, an article as, as I was walking to my car about schools being shut down in certain areas of Tennessee because they they just, students are calling in with COVID-19 and it's just spreading wildly through schools. And that's what I'm saying. This pandemic is not going away. Um, and people, I encourage people to get vaccinated. <laughs> I want those who are around me and my family to be vaccinated, but everyone has the right to self-determinate, to, to determine what they want to do with their own lives and with their own bodies. But I do know it's contagious, and I do know uh, viruses are, you know, if, you know, it's designed to infect the body and to take over. And so until we get this thing, you know, under wraps, which who knows when it will happen, you know, being in spaces like college campuses and being around a lot of people you know it's, it's just really still unsafe and although protocols are put in place here at my university and I do think the mask mandate is important and I haven't seen not a single student in my proximity without a mask inside these buildings they they like get it you know I, I know that you know college students are doing what college students do and 
people are doing what they do in their day-to-day -day lives so we can't control what others do all we can do is control what we do and so that's what i'm trying to do by wearing a mask face shield in class social distancing washing my hands excessively and using hand sanitizers and trying to clean up areas as much as i can you know just to and keep my hands out of my face and stuff like that just to prevent the spread of covid and when those office hours are done i'm going because the more we are in close proximity with one another the greater you know possibility of us spreading the virus and you know just even going to the dentist office this week the dentist was like everybody has to have whether you're vaccinated or not have a COVID-19 test because the Delta virus the Delta variant is just that contagious and as I was watching the news and learning about it from one of my recent sorority meetings um the president of Meharry was talking about the Delta variant and just really saying that what happens is that the virus doubles in the throat and in the nose so whereas the original you know novel the, the first virus you know was once you get it you know it's spread it's contagious but with the delta variant when you're spreading because twice as much virus gathers in the nose and in the back of the throat it's it spreads it just is like double a double whammy once you get it and so um for those who are vaccinated as i was listening to the president of Meharry talk he says that the virus sort of the vaccine helps to prevent it from you know taking over the lobes of your lungs like you may, may i think in particular like the lower lobes i think that's what he was saying i could be wrong and so that was interesting information to hear and this was they showed a little slide of that at my um recent sorority meeting so i was very um interested to to hear that information and to really you know know more about the delta variant but again like i'm watching the lady right now but she's not near, near anyone she has had no mask on like period and she's just gone and just imagine if she goes and sits down at the local store no mask on and then she's coming back on this college campus so you know it's just a lot to consider but great day today great week and so looking forward to the next couple of days and i'm just hoping that everyone tries to stay as safe as possible but teaching is going well well take care and i hope whatever you're doing in your part of the wheel the world that it is going well for you and that um, all things are working out in your favor. Have a good day and take care. Bye.